Hey everyone, Tim with Collect Jurassic. I'm here with something pretty different today, but pretty cool. Instead of toys, we're going to be looking at these Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary Panini Collector Cards. Uh, I have a ton of stuff here to take a look at. I have this Mega Starter Pack. I have a multi-pack with limited edition cards. I have the, uh, I think this is like a booster pack of six card packets with the more exclusive cards. And then I have a full box of cards to open too. Um, so I'm hoping across all this stuff, I can get hopefully almost a full collection of this stuff. That would be awesome if I could get basically, um, I think there's, I don't know how many cards there are to collect, but I'm hoping I can, I can get them all because there's some really cool stuff in here. Again, it is for the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. So you'll see the, that logo on everything. You'll see it on the box itself. But what's really cool is that it covers all six movies. You can see these logos here. They have Jurassic Park Lost World, Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, and Dominion all part of this collection so as we open these cards there's going to be you know movie scenes artwork all that stuff um from the different movies and there's also going to be unique cards uh holographic cards all that fun stuff that you come that you'd come to expect uh kind of with collector cards totally throwback to the tops cards i'm sure a lot of you had these out here um you know, back in the day, they did all kinds of tops cards, um, and they're pretty common to find as like if you go on eBay and look at collector stuff. But this Panini stuff is not hard; is not easy to find. I actually had to import this from UK from my good good friend Tom, aka Tom Jurassic, uh, helped me um, grab these here in the US because as far as I know, they're not going to be here, which I could not miss out on. But let's go ahead and rip into this um, and get started. This is the Mega Starter Pack, and it's kind of main things that it comes with um, the actual like binder you need to collect all this stuff um and then the uh maybe a limited edition card too so we'll go ahead and open this up i love the jungle pattern i feel bad opening it but i'm going to do it anyway but yeah it looks like it comes with the album the three packets and that uh collection card uh collector card does look like there's 201 trading cards to um to collect overall 82 base cards 18 wrinkle cards 50 metal cards Excuse me, 35 holographic cards, 10 glow in the dark cards, and six extra rare cards. So a lot to take in, a lot to hunt down. But again, we're going to open up this packaging. I feel terrible because it is so pretty, but um, it's got to be done. So like everything else I try to open on camera, the plastic just does not want to rip for me, which is just fabulous uh, but uh looks like i got it so we'll go ahead and get this album out first and then we also have those those packets and there too which we'll definitely rip into um but here is the the binder itself um pretty simple actually it's literally like kind of a already ready to go plastic binder that they've gone ahead and put the insert in um with the little artwork in here the T-Rex is already already in place. But if you look, it does have um, a guide to collecting all these things. Um, the 201 card checklist. So I can actually use this to build out my pages, which is fun. Um, and you can see we've got Welcome to Jurassic Park, Cool Moments from JP, Leading Dinosaurs, Cool Moments from the JP Lost World, Bingo Dinosaur DNA, Looks very Lost World. Cool moments from JP3. Art mood. Um, welcome to Jurassic World. T-Rex Queen exploring Isla Nublar and Jungle Rules. So um, we're going to hopefully fill up. Oh, and there's more. Oh my gosh, there's more. There's cool moments from Jurassic World. Dinosaurs live here. Cool moments from Fallen Kingdom. Ready for battle. Cool moments from Jurassic World Dominion. Roar, Origin, Metal, Dinopedia. And then the 30th anniversary sets. Um, looks like there's just different Jurassic Park artwork pieces as well as some extra rare cards. And then it looks like a little, little, uh, promotional insert, which I'll keep because I collect everything. So I'll go ahead and keep that to the side, but, um, let's go ahead and take a look at one of these cards, these card packets. I'm hoping my collector cards in here somewhere. I assume it is. Oh no, it's right. It's literally right here in my my hand so that's our first collector card um from jurassic park 3 it's metallic limited edition so i would have to go through here allegedly and what find out where this extra rare card goes it looks like it maybe goes huh well, doesn't really say um i'll have to get more more familiar with this booklet and build it out and show everybody um where everything goes so it does oh they do have numbers on too so Maybe there's a 
number here no there's no number on this one it literally just says limited edition so we'll figure it out let's go ahead and open up an actual card pack you can see here they're like a plasticky paper they got the t-rex uh love it looks really cool i love the black too so all the packs packs will look like this um and they'll allegedly all open pretty easily too so the paper just rips and inside we have our cards to flip through this is fun though you can really get an idea of uh <laughs> opening up these oh this looks like it's part of a motif like a puzzle so um and again there is no there's number nine on this one so number nine looks like we have jurassic world number 100 looks like we have 99 Ooh, look at this guy metallic mosasaur that's pretty fun we also have you know, blue and sticky that's kind of interesting the jurassic world then we also have this is cool look at this dilophosaurus it's got like an embossed look on it so that is a really cool card i love that one look at that look at the artwork on it too that's that's rad love that and then jurassic park 3 so i mean right in that pack we already got a decent look at all the movies i can't believe there's not a number on this card that drives me crazy but um, let's go ahead and keep opening them this is fun i uh, i have a lot of cards to open i'm not sure i'm going to do it all on camera that seems cruel and unusual for everybody watching if i were to open up the probably 50 packets of cards i have here but i'll open a few more we got the jurassic park 3 spinosaurus on fire that's super fun uh this is cool just a little kind of like artsy mural of jurassic world again with that cool metallic look we also have um some artwork some sort of like poster art for jurassic world we have uh one of those metal t-rex more of that um puzzle piece here and then Pyroraptor from Dominion. So um, again, we're really building out uh, all the different movie scenes, which is fun. So we'll go ahead and open up another pack and another and another and another. Uh, it's addictive. I mean, there's it's cool to see what you're going to get. And so far, I haven't gotten any, any repeats either, which is fun. Um, but I mean, there's a lot of cards in this collection, 200 cards. So um, I'm hoping you wouldn't get a lot of repeats as you're going through even just three card packets. So that's fun. Looks like that's part of that little um, uh, collage on the first page. Also have uh, the t another dinosaur metallic uh, and oh, a little little baby blue artwork lethal at eight months. Here's another one of these cool dinosaur artwork cards. I love the Biosyn artwork on here and the Metrodon has that embossed effect raptor and then another classic moment from dominion so um those were the three pack packets that come in that um that sort of like starter pack that comes with this piece um i did want to go ahead and open up a couple more of these just to show you what limited edition card they come in this is a multi-pack it includes five packets and one limited edition card and i should be able to just open this maybe a little bit easy easily from the bottom it's like just kidding it is literally not not gonna not gonna do it for me perfect um yeah in the uk they really really make this plastic thick here in the u.s we have to make all of our plastic thin but uh they really they really pack it tight <laughs> across the pond all right so i was able to get that out which is cool get my next limited edition card from fallen kingdom again no number on that but that gives me my second limited edition card and then we have five cards all stuck to this uh, this backing here, which I'm guessing they just peel off. Yeah, they're kind of taped. They're kind of glued on. So um, let's just open one more of these, and then we'll we'll get to some of these other boxes. I promise. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited to to open these up and and kind of pull what I get. It's kind of fun. It's kind of the fun of it. Um, looks like we have a piece of some sort of uh you know composition you see a trociraptor tiger and pyroraptor so we'll see what that goes to we have um oh that's kind of cool kind of artwork of t-rex stepping out uh we also have another metal blue quetzalcoatlus um and then oh this is kind of fun not dinosaurs but um claire and franklin talking in fallen kingdom and then another uh, still from Fallen Kingdom with the logo in the corner. So kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to go hold tight. I'm not going to open those. Let's go ahead and open up this little booster pack and see what limited edition card we get inside. Um, features all eight movies. Again, 201 
trading cards to collect. It doesn't say the limited edition ones, how many of those there, there are, but it looks like in here we have all of our packets. Nothing else in there, just the box. And then within these packets, we have another, oh, classic scene from Jurassic World. Uh, Claire, uh, not even a scene, this is like poster art of Claire versus the Indominus. Um, and then more and more and more um, cards uh, to open. I have lots of cards to open. So I've got all these here. I've got these. I also have this box that I got. I mean, these cards were not expensive, y'all. They were, you know, obviously they were a little bit pricey to bring into the U.S., but if you live over, if you live where these are offered in the U.K. and a couple other territories, like, totally worth the price because they are not expensive at all. And as you can see, they are pretty rad. This is a, a proper case right here. So if you open this up, it's literally just full of these cards. So I have a ton of these to get through. Um, I'm hoping again, across all of these different card packs that I'm going to have more or less a complete set, uh, to, um, to, uh, you know, have here in this binder to flip through. So, um, again, I'm not going to make everyone sit on camera while I open these. Um, but I'll check back in once I have pretty much everything open and organized and we'll take a look at all the artwork in its full glory. Well, 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 checking back in as promised. And uh, actually, after opening all those cards, I'm still missing quite a few of the 200 cards. I have a lot filled out here, but I'm, I mean, you can even see on this first page um, that's supposed to be this collage that I'm missing uh, one, two cards on this first page. But I did want to show you some of my completed pages and some of the cool stuff of the flow of this book. So it does have a really nice pace uh, or sort of like patterning where it focuses on a movie, then it goes into art cards. So like this, this inside page is all Jurassic Park scenes, but then it has all these classic dinosaur renders, which some of these cards are just really, really high end to um, like these dinosaur cards that have like the embossed that I showed earlier. All of these cards on this page um, feature that effect. Um, the Lost World page, similarly missing a lot of uh, a lot of photos for that one. But I love this Lost World page. Only missing one card, but it's got the classic sort of like late 90s weird graphic design with like the neon dinosaurs. So great callbacks for the whole trilogy. There's my Jurassic Park 3 page. Again, missing quite a few scenes here, but um, really good on this Jurassic Park deco page that has all this sort of unique art. And like these have some really cool um, metallic effects on them. You can see as well as just being like really like um, high quality stuff. Uh, the movie scene cards are a little, um, a little less like luxurious i guess but um a lot of these art cards are great here's a mural that i'm missing most of of dominion dinosaurs nice rexy page again missing a decent amount of cards jurassic world posters missing a decent amount these cool reflectives i have quite a few of those um jurassic world one missing a few scenes there got all these dinosaurs here which is cool and these are really fancy cards as well these ones are probably the fanciest ones let me see if i can pop one out and show you um they have like they have that embossed effect and they have also like just sort of a really nice sheen on them too they almost feel like credit cards they're so thick um so there's just some really nice build quality across here uh fallen kingdom just some more like jurassic world artwork uh dominion i actually have all the cards for which is cool uh these random blue designs missing a few there uh this is almost done these like uh jurassic world system renders here's a uh, blast from the past for dino rivals they have a couple of fun dinosaur colorations there and these sort of illustrated cards. I uh, got this Jurassic Park mural done, which I'm stoked about because that looks really cool. Um, and then all these awesome Jurassic Park classic designs. I'm missing a ton of these, and they're so cool. I mean, look at this JP one on top. How cool is that? Um, I'm missing like almost everything on this page. I did manage to get a couple of these really fancy limited edition cards. These ones are probably the fanciest ones um, across all of the cards. They have um, a really, like almost like a mirror, really thick embossed. You can even see it on the other side there. Um, they have the little JP30 logo. So those are really fancy, and I got two of those. Um, but you'll see that there's actually quite a lot more of those to collect. So 
Um, and then lastly, I have my limited edition cards that aren't numbered. They don't count those ones as part of the full collection. But you can see just how many I'm missing pretty much everything here except for the Brachiosaurus and the T-Rex. I'm missing a bunch of stuff here, missing four of these. So I still have a lot to collect, which um, I, I'm surprised. I bought so many cards, I figured that for sure I would uh, come out of this with a, a nearly full deck, but I'm missing quite a lot. That being said, I did have a ton of extras. Um, you know, going through, obviously you're going to keep getting more and more repeats. So I have a ton of extras. I'm hoping I can find a way to trade. Otherwise I'll be finding creative ways to get rid of these on Collect Jurassic. So stay tuned for that. But, um, overall really, really cool collection from Panini. This Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary Collector Cards, part of their Celebration Collection. Um, tons of fun opening all those uh, packages and getting and populating them in this really nifty binder. They make it really easy. All the cards are numbered. All the pages have numbers on top. Every single page has numbers on top. So actually hunting and pecking and putting them in place was actually pretty straightforward and actually again kind of fun so really cool stuff if you can get your hands on these i recommend these uh these panini celebration collection full stop great stuff um and i'm glad to have it to my add it to my collection but i think that is all i got for this review again i'm tim with collect jurassic thanks for watching and i'll see you next time